Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I design a liner in Photoshop. So, if you're a beginner in Photoshop, keep on watching for the basic shortcuts and tricks. But if you just want to see how I design a liner, you can just adjust the speed in the option in the summer down here. Okay, let's start. Open Photoshop. Press CTRL plus O to open a template. Figure out plus N to you to see Photoshop. Press the guard of this code to add more photos if you want to edit your photo first or not. If not, you can just copy this. If you're done editing the photo, drag it to the file you are editing to add it. To rotate, raise your mouse near the edit of the photo, left click, then drag. You can cut the photo using the marquee tools. You can just use the shortcut button. Lower opacity temporarily to see how much you need to crop. If you want to duplicate this, right click on the layer on the right side and choose Duplicate the layer. Don't forget to press V to hold the layer. To add some things, Click on the Type tool on the left side and then click Anywhere. Choose from the wrong list of points from the upper menu. Use the marquee tool or L to delete the temporary or circular areas in the layer. To delete custom shapes in the layer, use the last tool or press L. You can also copy a specific part in the layer by using the lasso tool. Press CTRL plus C to copy and then CTRL plus B to paste. Now, I will show you how to create a grid mask. Find the photo that you want to put inside the text. Copy it. Place it above the text. Make sure that its layer is also above the text. Remove it from the panel and the right.
right click on the bottom layer then select create grouping mask you can adjust your brightness and contrast of the layer by using the adjustment tools on the right side as you can see, all layers were affected by the adjustment tool. You can keep the adjustment tool on only one layer. Right click on the adjustment tool, then select Merge Now. Now, I will show you how to blend the photo and remove its white background. I'm just reducing the opacity temporarily to place it perfectly. Then again, I use the rectangular marquee tool to remove excess. Backspace to do it. Then, as a tool to delete custom shapes. Now that I return the opacity to 100%, click the arrow on the left side of opacity tool. Here you can choose a lot of blending options. Since I want to remove the white background, choose the multiply option. Add more things using the paint tool. There are plenty of text styles you can choose if you click the text layer on the right side. Now I'll show you how to crop a photo into a round one. We will remove the white part around the circle of this logo. Right click on the marquee tool then select electrical marquee tool. Draw a circle around the part you want to remove. Go to select on the upper menu, then click invert, then max space.